Thirteen now. That wasn't all of it. Hey guys, it's Lita. I hope you're all amazing. And if you are not, I hope my video puts a smile on your beautiful faces and makes you laugh. Drum roll. It is my first season episodic review ever. So, as I told you guys in my spring 2017 pics video that I did about a week ago, I revealed that I would be doing episodic reviews and that anime I'll be doing episodic reviews on is Clockwork Planet. And I actually just finished watching the episode just now. The sucky thing about trying to watch this show is it comes out at like 4.30 a.m. like my time and you typically the day it comes out I usually end up working so usually I'll end up doing episodic review after I come home from work usually. My reviews might be out a little late more than other people's. I am going to give my thoughts on episode one. I'm just going to go through kind of from beginning to end kind of not just say all round of what I thought of it basically but basically as a brief synopsis if anybody doesn't know because in the spring video I did I got the synopsis wrong. Earth is supposed to have died and then there's this genius called Naoto who is this clockwork genius and he created a new kind of earth made of gears and basically it's this gigantic clock world full of gears and all these little gadgets and everything and um, it's kind of like a clockwork Japan in a way. He is this person who's failing at school, he is this clockwork genius, and then this massive coffin thing for, is supposed to fall through his apartment and there is the thing called an auto main and he ends up meeting this kind of clockwork doll named clockwork machine doll we'll say named Ryozua and she becomes his master because he ends up fixing her. So when I first started watching the episode, I was completely caught off guard with these like drumming clockwork sounds just came out of nowhere. I'm just like, oh, okay. I liked that effect a lot. And of, of course it goes on to say about you know, how the world came to be and everything. And then I loved the introduction of the story. So the beginning is where where everybody is now and the characters you see are Ryuzua, Naoto, this girl named Marie, and there's this guy, a bold guy with glasses. I totally, totally forgot his name. But looks like they were under attack by like these robotic gear-like robots. And um, I loved how in the beginning there was Naoto and he was predicting where the enemy was and I could tell that he's got this knack for sensing about, it's something about gears it is, he knows when there's something to do with mechanical wise, there's something nearby or that's why like, you know, he's good at fixing things to do with clocks and I really, really enjoyed that bit. And then obviously we get into the introduction of Ryu. Zua, the clockwork machine doll, I think she's friggin cool. I just loved how her whole character design was. Very cyberpunk feels I got off of her. And she's very, um, very quick thinking in her words. You know, she came off as looking innocent, but then she gets right into this, like, really gritty, like, I'm ready to take you on. And, you know, she's, she, you know, ends up flying down, attacking these clockwork robot things. And I just love, like, these um, spider-like, um, like, razors, or I guess you call them, like, knife-like ends. She kind of reminded me of from a, a show I love called Buso Rankin, and then the main girl in there, damn it, can't remember her name, Hatoko, I think, or something like that. She had a similar weapon that, she, like, um, Ryazua does, where, like, there's the, it's like this spider-like metal legs come out, and they've got, like, razor-sharp ends. Reminded me of that. So, very good introduction. I was completely invested in wanting to know what's going to happen. So Marie, she's some sort of a clockwork genius. One of their treasures ends up going missing, which obviously is the clockwork machine doll, Ryuzua. And um, in the end, the 
the coffin box. You get to see this part. It falls into Naoto's apartment. I like Naoto's character. I think it's just very comes off cute and innocent. I love the color of his hair. I like the headphone. I like his whole character design. It's very, very cute. He ends up seeing Riazua in I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right. You get to see her in the coffin box and everything. He and I like the moment where he goes into like, you know, go fix whatever it is to do with her heart. Or I like the animation aspect of seeing what he was seeing with the, you know, her clockwork, how her gears, how a mechanism worked inside, but I wasn't expecting that her whole body opened up and I was like this is a little bit fan servicey so I kind of wasn't expecting any little fan service I wasn't but let me tell you now that wasn't all of it. So he ends up fixing her and he, the, she ends up waking up because obviously apart, his apartment just collapses out of nowhere for, obviously from the impact of the coffin and the the introduction of Naruto and Rizawa was very very quick they kind of bonded very quickly together and I was like oh, okay I can kind of run with this. Um, Rizua is very sharp tongued and I know Naoto in the episode said that. She, some of the remarks she says towards Naoto like, oh yeah, you're a pervert. It's like, huh? Okay. Kind of wasn't expecting her to say that. So she's got this very innocent side, yet she's this clockwork machine doll and yet she becomes off very sharp tongued. So I like that about her. I do. I, I just look at her as this human girl. I keep forgetting that she's actually this robotic clockwork doll. The other fan servicey bit that I was not expecting is when Riazua wanted to make a pact with Naruto and become his be his master and stay by his side, you know, blah, 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 all that sort of thing. And yeah, the way they went about, I'm like, okay, you know, she basically puts his finger in her mouth and uh, like, um, this is very, I felt a little awkward watching that part. I'm like, really? Did you have to make it something like that? Couldn't it have been like their patch, you know, she starts glowing, says some enchanting words, that would have been cooler. Not you take his finger and suck it. Oh my god. So towards the episode there's this kind of great calamity that looks like it's going to happen to the people of the whole of the clockwork planet. Um, something about 20 million people are going to be just left for dead or the army's planning to sacrifice these people. I didn't follow too much into that because I was still like a little confused about what was going on. Obviously, Marie plays a vital part in this. For all, I thought the animation of the series uh, is really, really good. Um, I really liked how they captured this cyberpunk feel and how they captured basically the whole world of the, like calling it the clockwork planet. Uh, just capturing of how the city looks in like all gears and it look, like this massive mechanism. Overall, I did enjoy this episode. Despite all the fan service couple of parts. Well, that's okay. I actually kind of find it a little amusing, you know, except the packed whole thing that kind of went down between Naoto and Ruzawa. It was a very, very interesting and solid episode for me. Um, getting to know the characters, I'll probably give it a chance through episode two and three. Um, I love Ryuzua's character in Naruto's already. Some people might think Naruto's like a little bit bland, but I'm so going to continue watching this. I'm so interested in where this series is going to go and um, it makes me want to read the light novels now. I want to read the light novels. But um, you guys down below, you tell me what did you think of the first episode of Clockwork Planet? And I have been watching other spring 2017 uh, series on the side. I've been, I'm mostly reviewing them all on my blog because I really don't have the time to do episodic reviews on my channel. I do so many other things as well on the side. But um, yeah, please let me know down below. I would love to know. And um, I'm just, you know, excited for next week's episode. This coming Sunday, or this Sunday, uh, I'm going to have another video out for you guys. Um, it's going to be a first impressions on a new series I just started. It's an older series. 
If you've been following me on Twitter, you know what that is. It might come out maybe late Monday morning, kind of my time, just because I know this is going to take me a while to get through with what I want to say. But you can look forward to that. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more craziness. And if you want to keep up with my anime antics, you can follow me on my blog at Lita Kino Anime Corner. And you can follow me on Twitter at Kino Reviews, where it's daily life. I'm more obsessed with it now. And I will see you guys on the weekend with a brand new video and I will see you guys also next week with episode two of Clockwork Planet. Bye!